Hey guys and welcome back to another Dark Fall tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a website where you can download some free fonts. So there's a link in the description and I'm just going to quickly show you how to use the website. You can search by themes, by authors, by new fonts. Um, also if you've got something in mind you can come to the search box here and type a certain key phrase, a keyword. But what I like to do is come to this categories here and choose a subcategory. Um, there's loads of different types. So let's say we've got something in mind. Um, let's say we've got an Asian inspired tutorial in mind, so we want to use a Chinese slash Japanese style writing. So before we go down and choose uh, a font that we like, we want to change a few settings here. So let's just type in a preview text. And I'm also going to choose the amount of fonts that we see to say 100. Also we want to choose variants, show variants, because it'll show a few different variants of the same font, which is pretty cool. Let's just change this to small, I'm not bothered about the popularity, but more options, this is what we need to check. As standard, it's going to show us all of these, so all the ones that are free and paid. But what we want to do is just uh, choose or select public domain, 100% free, and that will show us all the free ones. So now we can select submit, and it will show us all the fonts that we can use in our projects. So it will show you the name of the font, and also by the person that made it. It'll also show you, say, how many downloads, comments, and also, and more importantly, what type you can, you know, it's 100% free. So we can go down here and find something that we like, hit download, and let's just save this now, or extract it to our, uh, to a folder. Okay, so once you've saved that font, we can now bring it up in Blender. What I'm going to do is just press Shift A and add a new font. And we want to add text. I'm just S to scale this up. R to rotate on the X 90 degrees. Let's just stand it up a bit. Now if we come over to the font tab, we can actually apply the font that we want. So down here under font, we want to open the regular one. So choose the open folder under regular. And select the font we just downloaded. And there you go. Let's just type in the text that we want, see how it looks. So we have uh, the full letters, A to Z, we also have numbers, depending on, whom, depending on the creator of the font, they might put more work into the uh, creating it, so they might have apostrophes, question marks, other different symbols, but not all fonts do have them, so be careful when you do that. So now we can extrude this out under the geometry, and we can see we've got a bit of it. it's now 3D. But it's very very straight so what we can do is we can add a bit of bevel to it now be careful when adding bevel to text objects not all text objects will work so sometimes when you increase the bevel your text objects might go a bit messed up so, yeah. so what you might have to do if if your text object does get messed up by the, the bevel you might have to convert it to um, an object and then go into it manually and just change a few things but this font looks fine for us now also a few little things that might help you into the under the settings here let's down to paragraph if you can see when we move the font it's moved by the origin point which is on the left which it sometimes can be annoying so sometimes you might want to set it to the middle or to the right hand side Also, you can do it for the vertical alignment if you want to. You're not happy with it. So, when you're happy with the alignment, now we can increase the spacing of the letters, which is pretty cool. You can also increase the spacing of the lettering and also the word. So, there's quite a few different options you can play about with to get the um, to get the effect that you want. So, hopefully, this tutorial helped. If it did, make sure you give it a like. Yeah, and thanks for watching.